Hi, good evening, Kirtan Patel. Good evening, Yash. Is my voice is audible? Screen is visible? Kindly confirm. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, great, Yash. And what about you, Kirtan? Yes, sir. Okay, great. We're going to start the session just in two, three minutes. Just stay there. Don't leave the class. Let others to join the session as well. And we're going to start very soon. Okay, stay connected. Thank you. Start Karo. Sir, uh, good evening, everyone. We're going to start the session very soon. Just stay, uh, wait two, three minutes because we are waiting for other guys to attend the session. Two minutes are left. Uh, yeah, eight is going to be. So kindly wait for two, three minutes more. Let others to join the session. So stay there, stay connected. Thank you.
Good evening, everyone. We're going to start the session very soon. Just stay connected. In a minute, we're going to start it. Thank you. All right, guys, now we're going to start the session. Thanks for the waiting. Myself, Lovepreet Verma. I'm the founder of Vineyard English. I personally take demo classes. Now we will begin it. Last converse confirmation is my voice is audible to all of you guys and screen is visible. Just confirm. Guys, I want you to participate a lot because in Very this video great thank you thank you rn so always uh, i would uh, request all of you to participate as much as you can if you will have any doubt you can ask anything between the presentation it would take approximately 35 to 40 minutes so guys we are the first institute in india having phd english experts in our team and our all trainer are idp and bc certified so you're going to get training from certified trainers only. Every day there will be Zoom live instructor led classes. One and half hour class will be there. We have various times available for academic and journal. Early morning from 7 a.m. till 9 p.m. We have various times available. Two hour, two module will be covered in detail in one and half hour. Two other module we will cover through the resource account. I will show you what is resource account. We're going to provide you one app, mobile application in which you can see your own recorded sessions. So whatever you're going to attend today, you can review it by tomorrow. Plus, you will be able to see 100 previous sessions, 100 plus previous session from different trainers. Practice account with 160 practice test. Apart from classroom training, we're going to provide you one practice account that we call it a resource account in which you can do reading, listening, writings. 160 test approximate would be there. Practice account dedicated mobile app. If you do not have mobile uh, laptop or computer, still you will be able to operate all the practice test material on your mobile. You can do listening, reading, writing on mobile too, as a practice. Regular assignments will be there. Full length mock test will be there. So this is the kind of uh, practice account that we're going to provide you. Let me show you this account lively. Is this count is uh, visible to all of you guys? It says Sahil Walia, when you're English. Sabko dikra hai? Is it visible? Yes, sir. Okay. What about others? Kirtan, Surya, Yash? Yes, sir. Yes. yes, sir. yes sir. Okay, great. So, guys, those who uh, just joined from mobile ID, rename your ID. As I can see, there is Galaxy J7. Uh, yeah. So just rename your ID. May I know your name from Galaxy J7? It's hard Hello. to rename. Yes. Okay. So I'll go forward. 
So in this account, what you can do once you click on online test, you will be able to see two accounts, IELTS Academic, IELTS Journal. If you're a student of Academic, you will click here. You will see five mock tests, five full length mock tests. If you're going to take computer deliver exam, that is very, I mean, this account is going to be very beneficial in both ways, whether you're going to take computer exam or pen paper exam. So you could, every Saturday we do one mock test. Uh, yes, says, sir, this is not audible. Is it audible to all of you guys except Yash? Yes, sir. Okay. So yes, there yes, might be. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the confirmation. Yes, there might be some uh, technical issue or network issue at your end. Re-log in, please. So if you click on uh, on the academics section, you will see mock test over here. Every Saturday we do one mock test and it would be a full mock test means it will take two and a half to three hours to complete. Similarly, the right, uh, real IELTS exam. You're not audible, sir. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, sir, kindly re-log in. I'm just going to write down in the chat box. Re-log in, sir. Okay. So guys, if you click on IELTS uh, acad academic readings, let me mute it. If you uh, click on academic reading, you will see five section. Further, every section going to have five readings in it, 40 questions, 60 minutes. So you're going to have 25 academic reading for practice here. Similarly, if you click on listening, 25 listenings again, you're going to have, once you click on any listening, you will be able to, once you will attempt any listening, you will be able to see your own analysis, how many right you did, how many wrong you did. After that, once you click on academic writing further, one section going to have five writing section and one writing section going to have two question writing task one and two. So you're going to have 50 writing tasks over here. If you click on general, so you're going to have the access of both academic and journal. If you click on journal, you will see journal mock test here, journal 25 readings will be there, 25 listening will be there, 50 writing section. Apart from this, if your grammar skills are not that stronger, you can go into the challenge zone. You can play challenges. You can read these all grammatical uh, concepts and uh, you can enhance your skills as well. Coming back to the presentation. Apart from this, guys, we will provide you this mobile application in which we will provide you uh, the license key. Once you will have license key after the enrollment, you will be able to see your own recorded videos every day. So you can perform, you can see your own performance, how you performed yesterday, what was the topic taken by the instructor, what was the concept discussed. You can also, just in case if you miss any class, still your class will be there in your mobile. You won't be in the class, your class will be there. So guys, every Saturday there will be a diagnostic mock test. We will check your performance every Saturday. Every class will start with tips and training, like five to 10 minutes tips and training. After that, the content will be delivered and every class will be ended at an assignment. Once you will submit the assignment, it will be reviewed by our experts as per IDP and BC standard. And he or she will provide you feedback through the WhatsApp group where we will add you. Now, this is a journey from first week till fourth week, guys. On Monday, we do listening and speaking in detail. Speaking, we have integrated on every day. So speaking will be there for sure because students facing most of the trouble in speaking and writing section. But if you will have special requirement like on writing, you want a writing session to get evaluated every day, we can do that too. On Monday, we do listening in detail. It's going to be similar as you're going to face in the real IELTS exams. Formal speaking will be there, one-to-one -one speaking. Reading and listening practice will be from your resource account. Similarly, Tuesday writing task two will be discussed in detail. In detail means your trainer will let you know how to write down introduction, how to write down body paragraph, how to write down conclusion. So everything will be discussed in thorough detail. After that, speaking will be there. Wednesday, writing task one will be discussed. Speaking will be there. And writing task one and listening will be from the resource account. Thursday, reading, speaking, reading, writing from resource account. Friday, listening, speaking. So we basically focus on the all four modules so that uh, you can prepare well in a month.
So we don't want you to register for second or third month as well. We want you to get prepared in one month so that you will get good bands after a month. Saturday mock test will be there. All four modules will be assessed. Sunday we share blogs, study material, videos, tips so that we can add value to your learning. So this is kind of evaluation system. Our evaluation system, our trainer do that. So once you will share the screenshot of your task in the group, our uh, yeah, our trainer will evaluate it, check it, mark it, and if there would be any mistake, he or she will let you know. You're going to get the marks as per IDP or BC standards, task achievement, coherence and cohesion, lexical resource, grammatical range and accuracy. So everything will be in a thorough detail. So you will get to know your own weakness and you would come to know where you need to improve. Guys, now I'm going to show you little, little, uh, yeah, the little, little concepts of reading and listening, how are, uh, how listening is going to be functioned in our classes, how reading is going to be functioned in our classes. After that, we will discuss the writing task too. So on the re on the listening day, your, your trainer will let you know what type of questions will be there. As it says, labeling questions, summary completion, sentence completion, matching question, multiple choice, short answer question. So all type of uh, question types will be discussed. He or she will let you know where to focus, where not to focus. You can also discuss your weakness with the expert in the classes. Like if you have trouble in solving multiple choice question, he or she will let you know how to solve these kind of you know, questions. After that, the format will be discussed. What type of listening will be there? Monologue will be there or conversation between two people. Type of question you can discuss with the trainer. If you have, uh, you know, you're facing trouble in solving map kind of question, you can ask your trainer, ma'am, I, I do have uh, issue with this kind of uh, question and uh, she would let you know how to solve specifically this type of question. So everything will be discussed in detail. After that, I will show you how our listening going to be played in the classes. Just give me a second, guys. Listen carefully. All right, guys, is this screen is visible to you? All of you? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yes. So once on the listening day, after the tips, like tips will be five to 10 minutes. After that, your trainer will ask you to write down one to 14 numbers on your notepad, on your notepad so that you can write down the answers. So this kind of listening will be played by the trainer once you will write down your one to 14 numbers on the notepad. I'm going to play it for just half a minute so that you can uh, check it. And answer questions one to six. Hello, Pembroke Cycling Holidays. Bob speaking. Oh, hello. I've seen your advert for people to leave. After 6 p.m. I think that's one of the... So they ignore important issues such as the noise someone might hear from the open windows or gardens of their neighbors. All right. Was that audible to you guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, great. So this type of audio video will be played from first question till 40th question and once you would complete it your trainer will show you the actual answers let me show you so these audios will be played every time or in a once a week so listening will be there on let me check i'll come to your question just give me a second please okay sir so once the audio will be played, this kind of uh, answer sheet will be shown to you guys. In that, just give me a second, I need to, okay. So after every listening session, once you will write it down one to 40 questions, one to 40 answers, your trainer will dictate you the answers from first till 40th. And if you would have like, uh, you got uh, five wrong, six wrong. You can discuss everything with your trainer. For, for an example, if you got something else on eighth 
question, you got some other answer, like you got D, C, 6 or 4, P, I, and you're getting different answer. You can ask your trainer, I got this kind of answer. She would, would go back to the eighth question and again, she will replay it and she'll let you know what is the logic behind how to tempt that certain type of questions, right? Okay, coming back to the presentation, listening guys, there will be listening as per the schedule on Monday, there will be listening on Friday, there will be listening. But in the meantime, you can also play, you can do listening every day in your resource account. This is the account I just showed you before. There will be listening, reading, writing. Lots of stuff would be there. You can practice all the three, four modules every day, even over there. Nobody is going to stop you. And after once you will attempt everything from the resource account, it's a self analysis over there. You can see your answers right away. How many right you mark, how many wrong you mark and why those were wrong. Every analysis would be there. So yes, in classes on Monday, there will be listening day on Friday. There will be listening day. Another day you can do lots of practice from the resource account. Okay, coming back to the reading guide. Hope I answered your question. I think Ajay asked or who asked? So Arvin. Yeah, yeah, Arvin. Okay, Arvin. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Apart from that, we are very flexible. If you have weakness in writing section, you can frankly ask us, like you want to attempt one writing section every day and get it evaluated. So we will accommodate you for sure. On reading day, similarly, your trainer will let you know what type of questions will be there, how to attempt, where to focus, where not to focus. After that, you will attempt three to four readings of this kind. First, your trainer will let you know how to read introduction. Uh, sorry, how to read instructions. It's very important. Then he or she let you know how to read questions because many of the students, uh, they do not know how to read questions, how to mark keywords and uh, what techniques should be there. So once you will come to know, once you will read the question, you will be given eight to 10 minutes to read the paragraphs, to find the answers. So once you will come up with the answer after 10 minutes, your trainer will show you the right answers. And if you will have like trouble or if you will have uh, any confusion, like let's so suppose you get 12th answer as B instead of E, you can ask your trainer, I got B, it seems like it is B and why it is E. Then she go back to the passage and she will explain the logic behind it why it is E and why it is not B. So everything will be discussed in detail. Having expert in the class means you can discuss apart from these things, you can discuss your other troubles as well in any section. You can discuss your issues. Now guys, we will discuss the writing task too in detail. I will show you how to get higher bands in writing task, what the evaluation criteria is, and uh, we will discuss a live example as well. So it's going to be more 10, 15 minutes. So just uh, stay there, Be bear, bear with me. So guys on, uh, until this point, any doubt, any question? No, sir. Okay, thank you, Aryan. Any other guys, any question? No, no, sir, it's fine. No, sir. Okay, sir, thank you. No, sir, it's clear. Thank you, sir, thank you so much. So basically writing task is going to be assessed on four pillars, four parameters. First is task achievement and response. How are you going to achieve the task? How are you going to respond to the task? Whether you're going to cover all the essential elements of writing task two or not. Essential elements means, for an example, only introduction alone has three parts background information or journal comment plus paraphrase the statement plus thesis statement. If you miss any of these three, you will not get the hundred percent bands of task achievement and response. Every element, every factor is having zero to nine band. For an example, if you get seven band in task achievement and response, six in coherence and cohesion, eight in lexical resource or seven in grammatical range, then the average of these four will be your band score of writing task two. Now, coherence and cohesion means a perfect linkage between paragraphs as well as lines. A writing task two must be linked properly from the very first line of the introduction till the last line of the conclusion. 
Lexical resource means the what type of vocabulary you're going to use, whether you're going to use high vocabulary word or low vocabulary word, but it should be relevant. Some students just use flurry words, high vocabulary words or lexical, and they end up with five or 5.5 bands because they don't know the exact meaning of those high vocabulary words, which ultimately alter the entire meaning of the passage or the line. Grammatical range and accuracy means what type of sentence structure you're going to use, whether you're going to use simple sentence, compound sentence, complex sentence, complex compound sentence. You're going to write down passive voice, uh, pronunciation, uh, pun, uh, yeah, over there, sentence structure is going to be checked and accuracy is very important. Apart from this, punctuations are very important. Tone is very important. Everything is going to be assessed. Now, these are the five normal journal type of essays. Any one type of essay would come in the real IELTS exam. Opinionating essay would be there where examiner will ask your opinion, advantage, disadvantage, discussion essays, solution, problem solution essays, direct question essays. There would be two questions. So you have to attempt these questions separately. Every kind of question is having its own treatment. We cannot apply one treatment to all of the essays, all type of essays. In our classes, we cover all type of essays and our trainer will let you know how to deal these types individually. All right, guys, this is the high band essay structure. If you will follow this, you will definitely get more than seven bands. You can take screenshot of it if you want. As I said, introduction has three parts, background information or journal comment, plus paraphrase the topic plus thesis statement. Now, what is background information? Background information is an information which tells something about the topic in the past. For an example, in yesteryears or in previous years, people used to wear simple clothes, but due to the advent of modernization and globalization, masses tend to wear sophisticated clothing. So in, in the early time, people used to wear simple cloth, but with the advent of modernization and globalization, masses. See, now I use masses instead of people. It's a synonym of people. So we will not repeat one word again and again. We will use synonyms. Masses tend to wear sophisticated clothing. Now, on some topics, it's hard to make the background information in a shorter time. So you can write down the journal comment. Journal comment is just like nowadays, people tend to wear sophisticated clothing owing to modernization and globalization. That is a journal comment. Plus, Paraphrase the topic. Paraphrase the topic means you need to convert the question into your own words, into your own words. You cannot write down the exact question in the introduction. Some people believe that others are against to this, just like that. Thesis statement is a great indicator to the reader or the examiner that what we're going to write down in body paragraph. So only from even thesis statement, the examiner will come to know that what the student is going to write down in further body. I'm going to discuss this point in subsequent paragraph or I'm going to elaborate it in subsequent paragraph. That is a thesis statement. It is a great linker as well. It links the introduction with the body paragraph. As I said, all essential factor, if you write down, you'll have all bands of task achievement and response. If you uh, provide linkers. If you provide uh, good connectors, you will get coherence and cohesion. If you provide six to eight vocabulary word, lexical resource uh, bands will be there. And if you use five to six, five to six complex compound sentences, you will get more than seven bands. Okay. Now in body paragraph, how to write down body paragraph. It has been seen that many students just add so many points in one paragraph. They write two, three paragraphs and they end up with five or 5.5 bands. Then they complain to IDP or BC evaluation system that they have faulty system. No guys, they have perfect evaluation system, but we need to understand their demand, what they're looking for. So what they're looking for, basically we don't need five, six, seven points. We just need one point in one paragraph, elaborate it well, explain it well, support it with the example, that's it. Your paragraph is ready. I will show you this with an example in upcoming slides. In conclusion, you need to sum up the entire gist. You need to write down the crux of it. Plus you can write down, you can rephrase your opinion, whatever you have cited in the introduction. 
entire writing task two, entire writing task two should not be less than 250 word. If it would be 249 words, still you will be penalized. If it would be more than 300 words, grammatical errors may be there. And also guys, some people may have uh, confusion how to, uh, you know, count the words. So you can count one line if there will be 10 words in one line. If you write down 26 lines, you can just uh, make a roughly idea you have written 260 words. Now, guys, in our classes, we integrate many activities. Why we integrate many activities in, in the uh, writing class specifically, we have brainstorming activity. And the reason of integrating this activity is that student often it has been seen that student face trouble in real IELTS exam. When they face the real writing task, they feel blank over there, like points are not coming to their mind. So that happens often with many of the students. I would say 95% students, they feel uh, so helpless in the real IELTS exam. To take this, to overcome this weakness, we have integrated several activities. Brainstorming is the one of the activity. So every day, on speaking, you know, on writing a session in, in every writing session, there will be brainstorming session. So what is brainstorming session? Your trainer will write down the points and you will give the points, only points, not the lines. So guys, this is what we're going to do now. It will take uh, just five minutes. I would uh, yeah, appreciate those who will participate and those who won't participate, just observe the class, don't leave the class. In some countries, this is a real question which came into the real IELTS exam. In some countries, many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past. Do you think this is a positive or negative development? So guys, kindly unmute all of you. And tell me, first tell me the advantages of living alone. Imagine yourself, you're living alone in Canada on student visa. Or the person can be independent. Wonderful. So one can be independent. Wonderful point. A person can, hmm. a person can learn, learn something new. Okay, more exposure will be there. So, yeah, the person knows the difficulties in his life facing. So the person will learn to manage how to live. Very good point. So more okay. can make their own decisions. We can say one will learn new, new, new skills, new skills, right? Such as see guys for boys, um, you guys going to learn cooking over there, right? So many of the boy doesn't know how to cook. So it's going to a new skill over there. So one can learn new skill like cooking, cooking, right. Cleaning the house, cleaning utensils, how to manage funds, right. Savings and also savings. Very good point. So how to manage funds, savings, what other point could be? Yes, Ajay, Aryan, Kishore, Surya, Vishal. Yes, please. People can. Difficulties in his life. Yes, one will manage all the emergency situations alone. So it will boost the confidence. Sir, a person will know that where he is uh, lacking in his life. Okay. I mean, his, his setbacks. So one can do self analysis or one can come to know about his strength or weakness, right? Yes, sir, absolutely. Strength or weaknesses. All right, good point. All right, what imagine yourself you're living alone in Canada, freedom will be there independent life will be there full freedom will be there nobody will be there to restrict what other thing could be you will miss your family somehow you will i mean the fam you will know the value of family right because you will live alone you would miss your family so you will come to know the real value of family 
because you have to do everything alone right all right guys generate point kishor surya vishal ji yeah. yes sir you can also make new friends over there very good point sir so one can socialize well one can make new friends all right good enough think about the disadvantages guys what is the biggest disadvantage uh, sir the uh, the exposure to immediate freedom after uh, staying with parents can be a little bit hazardous for students okay so more exposure can be uh, pernicious right you mean yeah. so yeah, yeah. it can lead to bad companies yeah right and bad habits also yeah bad habits too some may you know opt uh, start taking drugs right yeah good point okay what could be the big change in climate sorry person lifestyle okay lifestyle means how you elaborate it in the disadvantage the economical financially <laughs> economical could come into an advantage sir but in disadvantage disadvantage of living alone sir i have a point sir, that uh, if there uh, yes please yeah. one by one yeah okay yes. it's a dip right deep yeah or? i'm yeah yeah dip uh, yeah. sir i was telling that uh, uh, there is one disadvantage that uh, mm. uh, if if anything uh, emergency comes like health issues or like that mm -hmm. no one will be there to very take. good wonderful point sir so no one will be there in case of emergency right so you can say lack of family support right yeah no one will be there okay sir another point i think arin was ajay was saying something right okay kishore uh, sir financial or security issues over there yes sir good point so you can say financial crisis could be there because one has to pay all the expenses alone mortgage home rent car rent insurance because in joint family two three people are there two three working people are there to bear the financial sector so financial crisis can happen and that may lead and you know into uh, other bad things like people indulge into crime once they find that they are unable to meet the financial aspect all right what could be the another disadvantage of living alone uh, so, so we, we may get we may be mm -hmm. yeah, yes can make it mm -hmm. one by one please uh sir language barrier also there a disadvantage of living alone sir actually if we think universal i mean if you moving uh, from you know northern india to south southern india still i mean english is as universal so that may not be that kind of valid uh, point so, so there is a point weather, that uh, weather and weather hello yes yes no uh, weather and environment will be affected Mm -hmm. uh it depends sir whether is a uh, you cannot say i mean it can be a fact if you living in family so if you living yes. alone still weather will impact you if weather is bad so disadvantage you have to do everything alone no one there to help no one will be there to help in case of financial you can also say lack of okay. safety uh, take, take, taking a strong decision the psychological issues we may get bullied okay one good point around psychological issue we can say why psychological issue will be there it's the strongest point i would say home sickness will be there guys right if you yeah. so many of the student feel home sickness so home sickness will lead to loneliness and that would lead to depression yeah and depression will lead to psychological problems right so this kind of linkage we will build in our classes in our in our 
uh, writing class two. So connectivity will be there, right? So once we will start building connectivity, we will get higher bands for that. So guys, good, good enough point. Thank you so much. Those who participated and those who observed, I appreciate all of you. So guys, what is the purpose behind this activity? Basically to show you how our real classes are going to be conducted in every writing sessions. You going to generate content. Your trainer will help you to generate content and help you to write down in a chronological order in a sequence or with the connectivity. Now we will discuss writing task two solution using this technique, this method. So guys, we basically focus on the quality matter. We don't focus on the monetary side. See, we will provide services. You will pay for that for sure. But if we will satisfy you, you will recommend us to other people as well. That is our true focus. So our focus is to provide value. So in, in our every class, you will find value for sure every day. Now we will discuss it in some countries. Many more people are choosing to live alone nowadays than in the past. Do you think this is a positive or negative development? See, this kind of question can be handled into three tribe. First, you can write down positive, positive about it in all the paragraphs. You can write down negative, negative it about the all paragraph in the all paragraph, or you can balance the statement. You can see that it has more positive consequences than a few negative ones. So the benefit of balancing the statement is that you're going to have enough stuff to write down here. We have balanced the statement. So it's your own view. You can write down in any direction, but make sure you need to stick to that direction. These days, many people choose to live alone, especially in metropolitan areas. And this rate is far higher in developed countries such as Canada. And seems like this has become quite normal there. So what we did here, we write down in journal comment, plus we paraphrase together. See the length of the sentence from this point till this point. This is not a simple sentence, right? It's kind of a compound sentence. I believe this trend has more positive consequences. See here, the examiner is asking us, what is your opinion? I believe this trend has more positive consequences that then the few negative outcomes it offers. So here we clarified our statement, what we think thinking, let us discuss the topic in detail before reaching to the conclusion. This is a thesis line. Basically it's going to, it's a directive sentence, which direct the reader from introduction to the body paragraph. It's it also link introduction with the body paragraph. Now in body paragraph, what we have to do, we need to write down one point, elaborate it while support an example. So what is the one point? The single person family, those who live alone, we call it single person family is seen to be positive, positive hair from better personal skill development and economical perspective. Those things don't say better hair, kaise hai from the personal skill development and economical perspective, two things. How it is going to be, we're going to elaborate that from this point. Now a single member family earlier, we write down single person family. Now we write down single member family forces a person to learn some basic skills, including cooking, cleaning the house, paying the utility bills, managing personal finance, purchasing daily commodities, adopting hobbies and many more important skills. This makes someone self-dependent and which has a greater impact on the development of the country in a broader sense. So what we did, we write down one point in one point, we segregate in two points, personal skill development, say better hai, economical perspective, say better hai, kaise hai, kyun hai, that we described from this point till this point in which we, for the personal skill develop, meant we covered through basic skills. These many things one will learn. And for the economical perspective, we touched on self dependent. If you, one will become self dependent, he or she will earn money, will pay taxes, which will eventually be benefit for the development of the country in a broader sense. Now, for instance, sir, research shows that the student who stay away from home for their tertiary degrees for their high degrees, learn more skills and become more self dependent. They will become more self dependent than people who study from home. 
so here we shows the comparison and here we shows here we demonstrate whatever we have write it down we have reinforced it through the example so we can make example we can fabricate example something like do we need to write down the fact only no guys you can make example but it should be relevant to your main point it should be supporting to your main point now coming to the body paragraph second okay as we discuss in the introduction that it has more positive consequences than some negatives that means it has negatives too so we have to discuss that in the second paragraph from the opposite viewpoint the trend of increasing single person family has few negative outcomes as well kaise hai kyun hai that we going to describe now from this point the increasing trend of living alone has direct relationship on the percentage of people suffer from psychological problem these days those who live alone suffer more from psychological problems living alone creates loneliness and depression whereas those who live in a family settings always find someone to share their sadness and stress so here basically we shows the comparison we show the comparison that those who live alone uh, uh, for of the living alone and those who live with the family we show the comparison and it's wonderful if we show the comparison in the as in the writing task too the isolation often leads people to choose a lifestyle that is often negative for example A recent study reveals that single person family members often rely on drugs and many of them become addicted because no one will be there to stop the human is a social being and living alone is against their natural tendency for many bearing the total expenses is tough and this leads them to get involved in the crimes so guys what we did we write down one point like it has few negatives kya hai what are the negatives that we describe from this point till this point we write down the example which is supporting our main idea now in the conclusion you need to add the gist of the essay crux of the essay you can also rephrase whatever you cited in the introduction to encapsulate to sum up at the end these kind of phrases would be used at, in the conclusion these are also indicated to the reader that he or she is now now going to conclude it the number of single person families is increasing in this contemporary era and this has omnifarious omnifarious is the synonym of various this has various positive aspects despite some negative consequences so here we again reinforced our opinion with the different words whatever we have written in the introduction we use the same concept in the uh, conclusion with the different words hence one can learn numerous important skills or cardinal skills of life if he or she chooses to live alone so guys this is the end of writing task 2 if you guys have any question what we did we basically explained it using this structure the structure i showed you if you have any question all of you ajay aryan dip kishore surya vishav uh sorry vishav jit and yash another if you have any question i'm here to answer no sir i don't have any issue no sir okay sir thank you other people other no sir okay. no sir it's okay okay great so guys no, this sir. is right no, clear yeah. okay thank you sir so this is how uh, our writing task 2 is going to be conducted in every class writing task 1 and 2 going to be discuss in detail so that you guys will get more than seven bands in writing task alone uh okay i think someone had any question kishore do you have a question yeah what is the difference sir between uh, academic and general ielts okay good point sir academic ielts is for those who want to migrate abroad on student visa and general is for those who want to migrate on pr permanent residency so if you are a professional and applying residency over there general academic journal is for you okay okay so we have different batches for all the uh, i mean both modules academic as well as journal uh, for the journal because most of the professional will be there in the journal uh, aisles so we have 7 am 
from 7 a.m. to 8:30 p.m. because many people won't be able to attend during daytime, so they you you know attend early morning session. And in the noon, we have 3:30 to 5, and then we have 9 p.m. to 10:30. For academic, we have 10 a.m. We have uh, 6 p.m. We have 8 p.m. So we have three three timings for both. So after every writing session, guys, we going to have speaking formal speaking practice over there. Your trainer will uh, describe you how many uh, you know what type of speaking will be there. There will be three tasks basically in, on the speaking real IELTS exam day. First uh, session would be the journal session where the examiner will ask you. question of generic in nature like tell me something about your previous you know studies tell me something about your family just like that after that there will be cue card session you will be given 1 minute to prepare this kind of cue card will be there you need to introduce the cue card you need to quickly cover these bullet points after you need to conclude it and just 1 and 1/2 minute you you will get only 1 minute to prepare for that how to prepare that we teach all our students how to do that using various techniques such as spider diagrams w uh, 5 wh family kind of things and uh, you have to talk at least 2 minutes on the topic which will be given to you so how to practice that see in the real ielts exam speaking exam it has been seen that many student again feel blank over there similar uh, scenario in the writing section so in the speaking section we will also work on your psychological pattern we will ask you to generate content over there yes sir yes fishab ji you, do you have a question okay so guys how to generate content we take we use several techniques in the classes like use the power of imagination now what is the power of imagination See if examiner would ask me to describe my hometown and I would say I live at Ludhiana it is a cosmopolitan city and it is situated in the mid of hills we have a wonderful lake on the southern side where people love to visit and we have multifarious shopping plazas we have world's renowned university in our city we have world's oldest church in our city and our city is having a perfect infrastructure just like this guys we can add even those facts which are not prevailing right so examiner is not going to check the facts he or she will check your sentence structure your fluency how you going to tackle the topic how you going to make the conversation more interesting right so these things are going to be judged over there so we teach the power of imagination in our classes so you will have enough points in the real ielts exam so normally people start elaborating things the real things and they you know uh they feel blank uh, at some point and then they you know feel hard time to generate content so once you will generate the power of imagination once you will work on this concept you will have enough points over there any question guys no sir okay So guys this is the end of the session I really appreciate all of you those who spare your time if you have any question still I will be able to answer you we going to provide you I just showed you everything reading listening writing and speaking I showed you four sections why I showed you because you will get clarification so I mean you won't have any doubt in the classes like if i show you only writing section you would ask how your reading is going to be conducted how your listening going to be conducted so the i showed you everything in the demo class so we also assess the real bands in all the classes how your improvement going on on the band structure scale on academic and journal as well so this is the type of evaluation you going to get on the real time in the you know your groups so guys we do not entertain any non sincere students just let you know guys we have very focused whatsapp group we will add you in that your trainer will be there no disturbance will be there because we do not allow anyone to disturb anyone we have very strict policy for that uh, because of our brand value uh these are the things which we going to provide you your trainer will be certified 
every day one and half hour class will be there two mobile application we're going to provide you in in one app you're going to see your own recording plus 100 plus previous recordings in another app you can do listening reading writing if you don't have laptop or computer plus we're going to provide you one uh, practice account test with username password in your free time you can log in anytime just like this type of account and you can do lots of practice over there uh, regular assignments will be there Monday to Friday classes will be there Saturday there will be mock tests that's it guys huh. now any question sir how much fees for this course sir we we going to discuss that uh, uh, just text me uh, text me on the mobile where you got the message we will get back to you okay, okay. yeah our team will get back to you and discuss for sure uh, content related, if there would be any question, I can answer right now. No? Should we wind up? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, all of you, for Thank sparing you so your much. valued Thank time. You. Thank you so much, sir. Thank, well, Thank you, sir. You. Welcome. Welcome, all so of you. so much knowledge and guidance. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. Uh, I would love to see all of you in our classes. So just uh, drop me a message where you got the link. Just drop your email and we will get back to you, okay? Okay, sir. Take Definitely. care, all of you. Thank you. It's a Good, great night. Time, sir. Good day, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Take care, yeah. all of you. Bye now.